Hey, this is Jeff with the Eternity Shore, and unfortunately, it's time to do a stinky job, and that is to replace these duckbill valves, um, either two or four of them, for the pump for the toilet because it stinks really bad, and I think it's because these are no longer um, working, and you can see a, the way it, this works is allows your fluid and your stuff to go that way but it doesn't come back across but over time the more it does this it's possible that there's a little bit of a hole like that in there and so it's coming back and it's staying there it's creating quite a stink now the stink is mainly in the uh, engine room so it's possible that I'll need to replace the hoses from the toilet to the black water tank because the hoses may be already uh there's just so much stuff in there and it's permeates through the hose it might be might might have to be replaced however this is the first stop and so i will film myself trying to do this for the first time and uh we'll see how it goes in in our boat this is a chris craft 33 express cruiser we are in the mid berth right now and you can find uh, this mechanism under this cushion right here. So I believe the duckbill valves are in here. I think there's one here and one there, maybe. And then there might be ones over here too, which may be hard to get at. So I gotta take this off and um, try to figure out how to get in there to do it. So as I get started on this project, uh, many thanks to Captain Brian of uh, My Boat Life for showing the way here. Uh, without YouTube, I wouldn't be even attempting to do this. So I'm trying to pattern what I'm doing off of what he did with uh, replacing these duckbill valves. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, get as much poop out of the system as possible so it doesn't stink to high heaven and also try to get as much uh, fluid out uh, so there's not a lot of water. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some uh, soapy water in the, in the toilet and we'll flush that down. I got my soapy water, put that in there and go ahead and flush that down pump's already working. I'm going to do one more. The toilet's still pumping. Alright, I'm going to do that one more time. I'll show you. And this time we're going to let it go all the way through, but we're going to turn off the water pump. So there will be no water being pumped through the system, so it's dry as much as possible. So here goes. There's no water being pumped. talking about. Still going. Still going. You know, I think this is where the problem is. finally turned off. I'm going to try to pump that through again because we're I don't have the pump on so shouldn't get water in here. All right so we'll let that go. Whew. Wow. When that's done I'm going to turn the toilet off 
right here, so it's not pumping. All right, just turned off. So I'll turn off that, and we'll go to the next step. Uh, this is this is going to the black water tank. Uh, so the poop, uh, you know, from the toilet. You can see this here. Hold on. The toilet, that white, that's the white um, hose. It's coming from the toilet, and it goes down into this tank right here um, so this goes down into this tank and then this pump pumps it out of the tank and the first its first stop is right in here and I think there's two duck duck bill valves one there and one there and then you follow that here and the last two are here and and here so here and here so that's four total that we need to try to replace um, so we're going to take this off it's coming ah. yeah Okay, that's nasty. Put the, put the bag over that. Okay. Here's the soapy water. And there's a valve in there. Should be one in here too. Uh, can you see that? That is not all the way shut. That one looks pretty good actually. that bad either but we're gonna replace them since we're here okay we did that one we need to take this one out here See that little hole? I think maybe that's part of the problem. Right, so now I'm going to take this off. These are very small screws. Okay. Now it's off. Okay, so in order to get to that, I need to unscrew these at the bottom so that the pump can can move. All right, uh, I've loosened these two screws here and here, uh, but in order to get to these screws on the other side, I think I need to take the hose off. All right, so I got to get this off. I've I'm close. But I gotta get it off. And I've abandoned the gloves so I smell like you know what. See that gap right there? It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, so you can see I still got a long way to go here to get that off. However, um, it's cleared enough. It's 
cleared out enough where I can attack that nut right behind there. I can get to that nut underneath. So I'm not pulling it out any further. This one over here, uh, I can get to underneath. So I'm gonna go after that and see what happens. I never would have thought in a million years that that hose, that would have been that long in there. But I got that off, I took that off, was able to get that off. It took a half an hour to do what I just did to get that off. So now hopefully I'll be able to get, the whole point of this is to get to those two um, duck, bell, duck, duck bill valves. Okay, so update. I replaced the duck valve here, but not over there. So I got three out of four of them. They actually didn't look bad. So something tells me maybe in the end it's gonna be replacing that hose that goes to the poop tank. So I've made a mess. I gotta put all this back together again. That hose onto there, that'll be fun. Uh, and that hose onto there um, and clean out the bilge. What a mess. My hands are bloodied from going in there and not fun. All right, everything is back together again. That's back, that's back. All the, the bolts are all in. Um, yeah, it's all back together again. Um, this project took uh, about two and a half hours to do because of getting that hose off and then trying to unscrew all these bolts. There's just so much more to do. Now I measured this. Um, we have about seven feet of poop hose, inch and a half. It goes from this pump all the way back to the, the tank. I replaced three of the duct valves. One of them that I didn't replace, I looked at, and it was pretty good. So the stink problem is not with the duct valves anymore. So the only other thing I can think of would be the um, the hose that goes after the pump. Um, just what I've read is if if it's really old and just stuff sits in there, the hose just begins to smell and you can't get that smell out. I, I've washed all the outside of that hose, but I think we may have to replace it. Um, so I'm not positive of that. The other thing is we haven't used it all that much, so we might use it for a while and see if the smell eventually goes down. Yes, we've deodorized the poop tank. We put a, you know, a tablet in there, so we'll have to see uh, what, what happens with that. Okay, so I'm back uh, several days later to wrap a bow up on the project that I've been working on. Because I think the the hose that goes from this pump all the way to the black water tank probably needs to be replaced. One of the things we can do to try to remedy some of that stink is to put vinegar in the line and leave it for 24 hours. So that's why I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flush some vinegar down about a gallon into the line and uh, leave it. I got vinegar right here. I'm just gonna pour right in. Turn the toilet on and leave the water pump off because I don't want any more water going in. Here comes the stink. All right, so the hope is that that vinegar will go down and sit in the hose that's from the pump to the black water tank, leave it for 24 hours, 48 hours, and maybe it'll get rid of some of that stuff in there and flush it through. So that was my first attempt at replacing the duckbill valves in the toilet pump. So I hope that was helpful for you, and we'll see you again real soon. Ciao.